the good news, like the, the salvatory news is life is shit and you don't have the answer, right? The bad news is that there is wholeness and completeness. There is an answer. That's actually, that sounds like good news, but it's bad news. And what sounds like bad news is good news, obviously very dialectic, <laughs> um, annoyingly dialectic, but um, is that the more that we postulate a wholeness and a completeness and a God who is undivided, um, the more, I think, anxious we become, the more symptoms, damaging symptoms can arise. And the more we realize that in Lacanian terms, the Santom, there is a fundamental contradiction at the heart of reality. Um, this frees us from the frenetic pursuit of wholeness and completeness. So I'm almost saying that the pursuit of, of the religious pursuit of wholeness and completeness is actually what is profoundly damaging to us. And when we realize that, to use a very silly example, oh, I could have been with that girl. That's the person that I loved and she's with somebody else and I can never be with her. Um, I still have a fantasy in my head that we could have been together. I have a fantasy of what it could have been like. So in the actual world, I accept that she's with somebody else, but in, to use analytic philosophy, in possible worlds, there's possible worlds where we're together and life is wonderful. Weirdly, I can overcome my melancholy by realizing that in every possible world, I'm also divided. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we ended up getting married and so all of the hot sex just became really boring and we had to start fighting about who would take out the trash, right? And then we realized we, we learned things about each other that I wish I didn't know. And I was, you know, whatever it is that all these possible worlds, some of them are better and some of them are worse. Absolutely, they're not all the same, but none of them are without division. I would say that in encountering that truth that self-division is not just in the actual world, but in all possible worlds, weirdly, has a, a, an emancipatory dimension. So it